Good morning, Grove. Today is Thursday, April 29th. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is a gold day. You will have all of your even periods, period two, four, six, and eight. Please take a moment to locate your sixth period teacher. This is for lunch A. Here is lunch B. And here is lunch C. As we continue our ABC countdown, tomorrow's letter is G for Green Day. Wear your green all day. Picture day, picture day, come and get your picture day. Well, retake. Did you sneeze in your picture? Make a funny face on accident? A little bit of glare in your glasses? So by now, you should have gotten an email from Stuart Rogers that has your pictures in it. If you have not, don't worry, it'll come out soon. It was supposed to be about two weeks after you got your pictures. So retake day, if you need it, is going to be Friday, April 30th for everyone. And by everyone, I mean anyone who needs a retake or missed the original three picture days. It will take place from 1030 to 2 o'clock. So that means if you are in person, you are going to go during your lunch. If you are remote, you can just come on down anytime between 1030 and 2. Please contact your ELA teacher and the office to let them know when you would like to come down and get your retake or your very first picture so that is friday april 30th picture retake day or first time picture if you miss the first three days between 10 30 and two o'clock any questions reach on out email me b-u-i-s-h-a-s -S. i'll come right up see you then grove Grove, our library is sad. Many of the books that kids took home last year during the pandemic haven't been returned or found their way home, and they're sad, which makes us sad, too. And the sad little fact of the matter, most of those sad, lonely books are probably just gathering dust under your bed with no one else able to check them out and read them. It's terrible. So what can you do? Well, first of all, you can look for the white stickers with the numbers on your books. These are bookroom books. And even if you have an older sibling that graduated last year, you can bring the books back and save our library. Please bring them back. Now, what's in it for me, you ask? We'll reward you for your efforts. Each book you bring back equals one raffle ticket. And there will be prizes, lots of delicious prizes. Yes, that's right, prizes. So bring our books home, win some raffle prizes, and have a frappuccino on us. So how do I bring these books back? You bring them back to your ELA teacher. What if you're a remote kid? 
you bring them back to the office. And then you say, excuse me, I am bringing these 18 books back from my older brother last year who has since graduated out of like 18 raffle tickets. And we will say, excellent. You'll put your name on them, put them in the raffle ticket bucket, and we'll be drawing prizes throughout the year. So look under those beds, look in the car, look all over the place for any books that have been left by the wayside sitting, rotting somewhere in your house. No one else can read them. We would like them to be returned. So, any details, reach out to your ELA teachers or Bushes, B-U-I-S-H-A-S. -S. Feel free to email me. I will give you the deets, but start looking for those books and bring them on home. Here is today's affirmation. Have a great day.